fantastic performance. I think all of us were speechless. We were all just busting out those movements. Really amazing performance from Mafiki Zolode. But it is Friday and you know what we do on a Friday. It's all about baking basics because we really are embracing this trend of basic uh, baking and giving you some really, really great, great tips on how to get you started. Now, I am not going to talk anymore because I'm already just messing up all of my words because we have a fantastic recipe in store for you this morning. It's all about sweet making and we've brought in the expert, Lexi Bechet, and she's going to make something really, really sweet and tasty, but with a little bit of a saltiness to it. Hey. Yes. Morning, good morning Lexi. Lee. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good, good, good. So what are we making this morning? This because morning. we are in sweet heaven right now. I'm, yes. I love this. This morning we're going to be making some salted caramels. Salted caramels. Yes. Yum, Very trendy yum. in the sweet it world is. at the moment. Bringing the sweet and the salty together. Delicious. Who would have thought that it would work so well? What All we're right, going to so start we with is we're going to just put some basic syrups into our pot. So we've okay. got our maple syrup here. All right, we're going to put we in a little bit of glucose. Glucose is very helpful in sweet making because it just stops all of your sugars from crystallizing, which right. is exactly what you don't want. You don't want it to crystallize. Your water. Water there. And then your sugar. Now I must tell you, I'm so happy that we've do, we're doing this because I've never ever ventured into the world of sweet making before because I always thought it was very complicated. How easy is it for the regular person like me to learn how to make my own caramel? A lot of people are very nervous about making sweets because they think that it's very complicated. Yes. The trick with sweet making is that if you follow your recipe precisely yeah. and you follow it to a tea, your sweets will come out perfectly. Okay, wonderful. So yeah, you put I'm those ingredients in the pot there. Some of this cream. I saw that you were brushing it down on the side. Why were you doing that? We've put our ingredients in the pot and I'm brushing it down simply because if you if you let the, the syrup build up on the side of the pot, it crystallizes and then you'll end up with nasty crunchy oh, bits in your toffee. Okay. And we don't so we've want got that. this on the heat. We're going to bring it up to 120 degrees. Okay. Over here, we've put some cream into a pot. Okay, so we're going to turn it on and just bring it up to a simmer. All so right. as soon as you see bubbles build up on the outside, we're going to turn it off immediately. Okay. All right. Is this, no problem. This is not on. There we go. Uh, other one. <laughs> and we're cooking. It's very early this morning. So we're cooking with gas. We're cooking. Okay. We've got our cream going over there. We've got this coming up to temperature. As you can see here, we've got a very old school sugar thermometer. Yeah. yeah. You can use the digital ones. Right. I prefer these ones as they a little bit more sturdy and a little bit less intimidating. I and find. they've got that nice rustic feel. And they've got well. a lovely rustic <laughs> feel. So we've got our sugar boiling. Okay. We've got our you cream see coming cream along, is about over to there. Come along. So once our cream has boiled, we are going to pop it into our. We're going to pop it in with our sugar. sugar so mixed while this it. is boiling, what you can do is just take a normal brownie pan. Okay. Make sure you've got something with high sides, just in case it bubbles over. Okay. We've just lined the bottom with a square of grease poof and a little bit of butter. What are some of the things that we need to look out for when we're working with sugar? Because sugar is one of those things that you must be careful with, right? Sugar can be very, very hot, and often. You'll see this looks absolutely delicious and you think to yourself, that looks great. I'm just going to stick my finger in and have a lick. Yeah. Don't ever have a lick. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Because this sugar, you forget, is at 120 yes. degrees. So if you stick your finger in there, it's going to hurt. A sugar burn is Okay, so your burn. cream is going to go into your pot here. Okay. Give it a nice stir. Just step back when you chuck your cream in because it's going to bubble All right. quite seriously. So we've put our cream in there and I'm going to move you over to this side where we've got that which is now turned into this caramel. Okay. You're gonna bring this caramel up to 122 degrees. It might take you about 15 minutes, Okay. but just leave it. Right. Once you've got it up to 122 degrees, you're gonna see it's gonna be a lovely, thick and Ooh, glorious it does caramel. Look gorgeous. At this stage, can I put my finger in a test? No. Still, still no. not. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so it's at 122 degrees. You're gonna just stir in your butter, 30 grams. All right. I'm going to do in this pot so that you okay, can while see While you're it. doing that, if you would like the recipe for our, or rather the ingredients list for the recipe that we're making, which is our salted caramel this morning, all you have to do is SMS the word STALK to 3378. We'll gladly send you the uh, the recipe for this. And I'm sure that um, after going through it one more time, you'll be able to make this at home. I know I need to go through this one more time because I'm not a sweet maker, but uh, Lexi does say anyone can do it. As you can see on that side, I've put in my salt and my vanilla. Okay. Stir it in our stalk until we've got a beautiful caramel. Stir until it's smooth. 
chuck into your brownie pan, smooth it out nicely. Cover it with a pinch of salt. Don't Let's... be tempted to stick your finger in still. Okay. It's Just very hot. All right. Be calm, relax, yes. don't and do anything don't crazy. Don't put it in the fridge, otherwise it's going to get a little bit sticky. So we poured it in there. Yeah. We've waited till room temperature and we've got our beautiful toffees that you can see over here. Wonderful. So, so oh, how long do you actually let this stand for? I usually let it stand for about five hours okay. because it's better to let it come completely to cool. Wonderful. Otherwise you're going to end up with a very kind of chewy, fluffy toffee yeah, that you're yeah. going to cut into beautiful squares and it's going to relax and look okay. terrible. And you want the consistency to be something that is a little harder? Yes. Okay. Well, so, there we have it. That is our salted caramel toffees this morning that Lexi Boucher has made for us. It, it was quite intricate, so I would like to see how we made this one last time. Join me, will you? Heat sugar, syrup, glucose and water in a saucepan over low heat until dissolved. Place a sugar thermometer in the pot and bring to the boil. In the meantime, heat the cream. Once syrup reaches 120 degrees, add hot cream. Boil until 122 degrees. Remove from the heat, stir in butter, vanilla and salt and pour into lined tin. Sprinkle with salt, allow to set, then slice. Yummy goodness right there. That was our salted caramel toffees that we made right now with Lexi. Thank you so much. I, th I see that you've put it in some paper over here as well. Yes, some the best wax thing paper. to do is just wrap up your little toffees in some wax paper, like an old-fashioned sweet, and they look very sweet. There we go. And then make sure that you put them in an airtight container because Wonderful. they have no preservatives, obviously homemade, which is beautiful but they're gonna turn into a sticky mess if you oh, leave them out. Wonderful, thank you so much for showing us Thanks this. For I love me. sweet treats on a Friday. The salt and the caramel go so well together, like a match made in heaven. We're gonna to go to an ad break right now. After that, we've got your express news, sport traffic and weather. Stork, best for baking.